I just got a new diaper bag and I thought we could do a what's in my bag tour mom edition. My son's napping. Let's do this tour while I have a minute. So here is the new diaper bag. Give you a minute to take her in. I love it so much. This is technically not a diaper bag, but there's diapers inside, which classifies it as a diaper bag, okay? But technically, it is sold as a purse. However, purse, diaper bag, one and the same for me. And because of that, I just wanted to have something that I really wanted to carry. And before, with the bag we were using prior to this, my husband had originally picked it out. It was great for the time being. And to be honest, I never really loved it. However, I just realized now that I've been a mom for just over a year, sorry, my blood sugars are high. So if it cuts off in an odd place, it's because my Dexcom is alerting my phone and it's cutting off filming. So anyways, the point is that over time, I've realized I am more of a minimal mom when it comes to things I like to carry for my son. And I wanted something that I really wanted to carry and this is that. So I feel like I can fit plenty in here. It is truly, in my opinion, a Mary Poppins bag. It's huge, but the straps are really thick and comfortable and I feel like it is a bag that I will carry for years and years to come as we hopefully are blessed with more children. So either way, um, I'll go ahead and say I do love the trend of having accessories on bags and I want to keep adding more things however i don't really know i haven't decided like i said i just got this so for now all i have is this little handkerchief that one of my sisters gave me love the contrast of the red and the yellow and that's all it is for now but i do hope to add more trinkets and charms one i find it so cute and fun and i think that kids do too and it's always nice to have little things for them to look at especially when you're out and about and trying to hold their attention so First off, in the large pouch, which is where pretty much everything is held, I have this little bag. I'm definitely a bag in a bag type of girl, and that just helps me stay organized. So this pouch is something I would have never thought to register for, but one of my friends gifted it to me, and it's just a waterproof bag. In the beginning, when your babies are either having blowouts or spitting up milk. A lot of times their outfits can get ruined and you have to have backup outfits. And this way you can put their little outfits in here and bring it home to wash so it's not getting all over the place. And since that situation doesn't happen too often anymore, I use it to store my diapers and my wipes. And this has been really helpful for that. I only ever carry a couple diapers at a time in my purse. I do actually have another little compartment in my car that I keep stuff for emergencies, but I'm not gonna talk about that in this video. However, if you do wanna hear more about mom content, let me know. So I have this uh, on the go wipes carrier. This is also something that my friend gifted me and I love it because instead of carrying a big pack of wipes that's like plastic and not that there's anything wrong with that because we have them at home and who cares, but this does make it easier to carry. And I like that it has a really nice clasp. So the diapers don't dry or the wipes don't dry out. And I've actually used this since day one and I love it. So I just restock it every couple weeks and it's always just enough for what we might need when we go out. And that all lives in here. So I have this backup waterproof bag just in case he needs an outfit change. And if anything, it also carries my diapers and my wipes. Then I have a backup onesie because accidents still happen. And I also have this burp cloth. Obviously we're not spitting up anymore. My son is now 14 months old, but I do find that having a little rag like this is helpful because he's eating food and we make messes. Um, all right, the next thing is my blood sugar meter as a type one diabetic. I have to keep my blood sugars in check and there's been cases where either my CGM expires and I'm not keeping track of it so then I don't have a way to check my blood sugars or I'll have an error so I pretty much keep this with me 24-7 in my purse or diaper bag at all times just for backup and that's always handy to have. 
Then I have my makeup pouch. I am notorious for having 32 lip glosses at a time in my bag, which um, I just did a clean out. So I only have the essentials in here. I try to be good about scaling down. I just don't know how it ends up that way. I just carry, you know, like I said, so many at one time when you really don't need it. But anyway, for the makeup right now, I've got my little favorite fall lip combo. I've got a Summer Fridays lip balm, a little kind of plum colored lip liner, and then this tinted uh, what is this? A tinted lip balm from Honest Beauty. And then I have a little blush bronzer from Pixie. I actually really love this thing. It's so convenient. Then I have a tallow lip balm that one of my friends and her mother-in-law made. And it's peppermint. It's really good. Just clear. And of course, hair things. Extra hair clip. Because sometimes your hair is just very overstimulating. You have to pull it up and out of the way. Okay, the next thing is my home remedies pouch. If you didn't know, I'm very much a naturopathic kind of girl. I love to treat things holistically whenever possible. And I'm also a herbalist and nutritionist. You always catch me with my little remedies going around town. Um, in case I need it, my son really thankfully has not been sick, so I don't, I only have one thing in here for him. Um, but even if I'm like with a friend or something and they need a little something, I like to have it for him. So starting out with my son's, uh, little remedy in here, this is the Highland Naturals Baby Teething Gel, and it's just an organic soothing gel that has more minimal ingredients to it. And we've really liked these ever since he's been teething. Then I have an essential oil in here. I am not an expert by any means on essential oils. I honestly don't know that much about them, but one of my sisters is definitely more knowledgeable on them. So I pretty much just will get whatever she would recommend. And this is Digize. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's young living, so good quality. It's great for nausea or like tummy aches and anything like that. Then I have a homemade herbal hand salve. These are salves that I make myself with the herbs that I grow on my farm. And not only as a type 1 diabetic, but also as a mom, I'm washing my hands a lot. And it's primarily, this one is just for dry hands, um, but it is very safe for baby skin as well. So we both use this and it's great for anyone. Then I have a propolis spray. This is Beekeepers Natural. It's just an immune supporting spray that you put on your throat. And even if I'm in a group with a lot of people and I feel like, I don't know, if I just get the vibe that I need a little support, then I'll go in my car and just like load up on this. Or if I ever feel like I'm coming down with a tickle or sniffly nose, I love that. Then I have this Gorse Flower Remedy. This is from the brand Bach Flower Remedies. And this is a homeopathic medicine. I'm not gonna talk about it in this video. I have talked about flower remedies before. I was making my own. Uh, it's in one of my past videos if you want to learn about that. And if you want to hear more about home remedies and making your own, do comment down below. Maybe I'll do a video on what I like to make um, and some recipes maybe I could share. So either way, this is just a great one because it's Gorses for Hope. Oh, I think I'm going to talk too much about it. I should just stop. So point is, flower remedies, I keep one hand. The last thing I have is some um, eye drops. And, oh, I also have a couple pens, because you never know. Okay, putting all of that back in there. The next pouch, I actually have a extra pair of glasses. These are super cheap glasses. I think they were $8 from iBuyDirect, and I got my prescription on them, which is great. I wanted to keep my super cheap ones in here because having now a toddler hasn't really learned the gentle approach to handling things and just in case I have my backup pair if I need them so like those and this little case doubles to clean your glasses so that's great I also have a notepad I love pen and paper I love writing my own grocery list and sorry cut me off again this is a little bit big to be honest I wish it was much smaller but it's all I had that didn't uh that had some quite a few free pages. So for now, 
this is what I'm using. It's also great for a toddler to scribble on if you need a little buy you some time moment. Um, then I have my wallet. This is a wallet from Henry Bendel. I think I've had it for seven years maybe. It's been a long time. They've since gone out of business, which is sad because I thought it was always such a cute brand. I love the graphics. They were very uh, recognizable, Henry Bendel was, I thought at least. I really need to get a new one. I mean, it's in great shape, but it's a little bit big and all I carry is cards. So I could probably have something that took up a little bit less space. Anyways, um, this pouch right here, a very important pouch. This is my snack pouch, as mentioned, type one diabetic, also just a hungry girl who likes to support her adrenals. And lastly, a mom with a toddler who also needs snacks. <laughs> So I have these fruit rolls. These are by the brand Bear. I love these because their ingredients are what you would expect a fruit roll up to have, which is just fruit. And they have 13 carbs, which is pretty great for a little pick me up if I'm having a low blood sugars. So I have a couple of those. I also have this organic Yumi or Yummy bar. I'm not sure. I think it's yummy. And these are just very, very more like organic, natural Nutrigrain bars. And these, my son likes. I do try to use them sparingly, but when we're out and about, it's great. Then I have some herbal tea, especially as we're coming up more on the cooler weather. I like to carry my own teas because sometimes places just don't have good quality herbal teas. And this one's nettle, and then I have an organic green tea. I also have this Four Sigmatic Mushroom Coffee Packet. I've been using these for so long. To be honest, nowadays I drink coffee, especially since becoming a mom. This is coffee too. It just has a lot less caffeine in it. But nowadays I just get a latte when I'm out. However, I still do love these. And sometimes when I'm going to my mom's or something, I'll make this. I don't know. Anyway, the last thing is an organic cotton pad in case I were to need it or one of a girlfriend or something if I were hanging out with would need it. So that's everything in the snack pouch. And that sums up the entirety of the mega pouch. Now we can go into a couple more compartments and then we're done. So makeup, remedies, wallet, blood sugar, oops, blood sugar checker. <laughs> what is that called? A meter, a muslin cloth, onesie diapers wipes seems like a lot but it's kind of the basics so that's everything in that pouch and the last thing we have is i have space in here that i have yet to fill i also have this zipper pouch that doesn't have anything what's in here oh yeah these are good okay two more pouches i have in this side zipper a extra insulin in, well, insulin site an extra pump site this is the autocef oh my gosh i can't talk the soft infusion site this is for my insulin pump because sometimes your pump will have an occlusion or it will just get ripped off your body and you gotta have a replacement otherwise you're kind of screwed so always gotta have this on hand usually i have two but that's more like when I'm traveling. If I'm just going out, one is typically enough. And with that, I have just a few of these little alcohol swabs and a hand sanitizer. To be totally honest, I do not like this one because it is way too fragranced. And ever since I started cutting out fragrances, I'm such a baby when it comes to smell. I just feel overstimulated. I need to get one that is unscented completely because I'm just it's too much for me <laughs> anyways that sums up my bag tour let me know if you would like to see more mom related videos or if you have anything specific whether it's home remedies or emergency kit in my car stuff like that just comment down below and I will see you in the next video thanks for hanging out with me bye